Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Cleany Launch. Today we are diving into the latest updates on COVID-19, specifically focusing on a new variant that has been making headlines recently, the KP3. KP3 is now responsible for over 25% of all COVID cases in the United States. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, so let's break down to what we know so far. KP3 is overtaking the previously dominant JN1 variant, making a significant shift in the landscape of COVID variants. This change is a part of an evolving pattern we've seen throughout the pandemic, where different variants rise and fall in prevalence. KP3 along with other variants from the FLIRT group is contributing to the current surge in cases. But what exactly is KP3 and why is it spreading so quickly? Let's find out. KP3, like other variants, has mutations that may affect how the virus spreads, how it responds to vaccine, and how the severity of the disease that it causes. Researchers are working around the clock to understand these changes and their implications. Early data suggests that while KP3 is more transmissible, the severity of illness it causes appears to be similar to the other recent variants. The KP3 variant has mutations in a spike protein, which is the part of the virus that binds to human cells. These changes can potentially make the virus more infectious. However, it is important to note that our current vaccines and treatments still offer strong protection against severe disease and hospitalization. So what does this mean for you? First and foremost, it's crucial to stay informed and follow public health guidelines. Here are some steps that you can take to protect yourself and others. Number one, stay up to date with vaccinations. Ensure you have received all recommended doses, including booster vaccines. The second, practice good hygiene. Wash your hands regularly and use hand sanitizer. Number three, wear masks in crowded places, especially if you're in an area with high transmission rates. Number four, get tested if you have symptoms. Early detection can help prevent the spread. And number five, stay informed. Follow updates from reliable sources like WHO and the CDC. By taking these steps, you can help protect yourself and your community from KP3 and other COVID variants. And that's our update on the KP3 variant. As always, we'll keep you informed with the latest information as we get it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. Stay safe, stay healthy and we'll see you the next time.